so a couple of years, actually one year ago, I made this video on a airplane on simple planes back way when it was like still in the developing stage. It still is, but it's much better. So uh, this uh, person who watched the video asked me, uh, Tobias Grindhog asked me, "I'll be uh, asked me how to build a plane that actually flies in simple planes." So uh, to show all of you guys what you need to do to build a plane in simple planes. I'll just uh, launch Simple Planes. You guys can buy the game for ten dollars on Steam. Right, it's on sale right now. But anyways, you want to click on Play Sandbox Build and Fly, <laughs> and uh, yeah, here this is a plane which I built just now. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna build a new aircraft just for you guys. So one of the first things that an aeroplane needs, aircraft needs, is a cockpit. A cockpit is where the pilot sits and looks out of the window, controls the aircraft. And, uh, yeah, when you click on build a new airplane, you get the cockpit, and you get two of these little, uh, blocks. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is add a nose cone. A nose cone, what it does is it basically reduces drag, making your airplane faster and more aerodynamic. <coughs> so, the f uh, 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 let me just recap. You need a cockpit, and you need a, a nose cone. So after you got all those right, the next thing you'll need is a body. Now the people, the professionals who build aircraft like to call those fuselages. But just for the sake of this, let me just call this the body of the airplane. I mean, many people accept. <coughs> but anyways, to make the body, you guys have a choice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you guys can go for the fuselage block, which is for making big airplanes passenger planes but if you guys are trying to make something small your first aircraft i suggest using the block so with the block just put a couple of blocks or it doesn't matter how many blocks it actually does matter for the to, for the sake of the aircraft's balance just put like i don't know i don't five, i don't know like five or ten blocks it doesn't matter five or ten blocks as soon as it looks okay to you you guys i mean everyone has that instinct that we all have seen aircraft on tv on the internet i mean we should know how it lo how an aircraft looks like but anyway so i put like uh two three four five six seven, eight, 12 blocks i put 12 blocks let's just put the 13th block and there you guys have it the body of the aircraft the body of the aircraft the body of the aircraft excluding the cone this is the body of the aircraft. These blocks are what I consider the body of the aircraft. So, as you guys noticed, when I made the body of the aircraft, I made sure that all the blocks, I assemble them in a way that aren't like, uh, they're just behind the nose cone. And why are they behind the nose cone? Why isn't the body like this? Uh, you know, very weird shapes and all that. Why isn't the body like that? Well, because if I make the body, like, let me just mirror this. Some people like to make bodies like this, but those bodies are absolutely, I don't know why you guys make them. Those bodies are completely unaerodynamic and they produce lots of drag. Let me just show you for example, show drag. And you guys can see the red shows lots of drag, the pink shows okay, uh, okay drag. And uh, yeah, the more intense the color, the more drag you have. So when you put those... You basically reducing the speed of the aircraft by 50%. So it is very, very uh, important that you keep all your blocks behind the uh, the uh, body. Oh, sorry, behind the cone. And if you want a bigger body, you guys can just uh, click on the cone, click on settings, and make make the length bigger and um, everything bigger for your appropriate for your body of your aircraft which you want to make it bigger you can make the nose bigger and you can uh, yeah you can just build behind the uh, nose so after you got the nose in uh, and the body in you just want to make sure that your airplane looks decent I'm not telling you that you're done but just make sure it looks decent and uh, to make you guys can see no you have no none of you have seen an airplane in real life that looks like this so to make it decent just add a I, I usually add a curved block because I mean, I don't know, because it's the easiest. So there you have it. More realistic. At least, I'm pretty sure there's no airplane like this, but it looks more realistic, for God's sake. But after you've gotten that little patch, that, that patched up, you want to add the wings. Uh, uh, now, before we add the wings, let me just explain to you guys the types of wings. There are three types of wings here. 
there is the horizontal stabilizer. The horizontal stabilizer is in charge of the aircraft not like I don't know, losing control when it hits turbulence and it is also in charge of the direction of the cone. So basically in basic words, the horizontal stabilizer is responsible for the altitude of the plane. Altitude of the plane, yes. So I just mirror it. And yes, the positioning of the uh, horizontal stabilizer it has to be at the back. It has to, you can't just put it here. You can't because if you do that they'll it will be pointless. You have to put it at the back. Cuz let's just take a look at the motion of the uh, uh, horizontal oh god damn it. Let's just take don't just don't look at this cuz that's a whole, whole mess. Let's just take a look at what this these flaps do. They they go up, right? They go up as we press W. And w makes the cone go the nose go up. Why does that happen as air hits it? As air hits the uh, these uh, moving flaps, it makes the airplane's uh, nose go uh, up. It's basic science. I'm not going to be explaining the science behind it. I'm just going to be telling you guys what you need to do. So after placing the horizontal stabilizers way at the back of the aircraft, you need a vertical stabilizer. And trust me, vertical stabilizers are very important. Because vertical stabilizers just ensure that the aircraft flies straight and doesn't like change the uh, the heading of the air or the bearing of the aircraft they just make sure you fly straight and the command uh, yeah that's the basic importance of the horizontal stabilizer after you added the horizontal stabilizer oh yeah and by the way the horizontal stabilizer can be anywhere but it is most effective when it's at the back so i would just suggest putting the horizontal stabilizer at the back as well a bit of lag there and uh, the final uh, frontier is putting the primary wing the per you you know the fate of the aircraft can be ver uh, can be decided by which position you put the aircraft wing at. You can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it here, or you, you can just put it like this. But you don't put it like that. You put it here so you, it produces lift. But let me tell you the most ideal position to put the uh, primary wing. The most ideal position is to put it where the most weight is at or the most mass is at. Most mass is at because that's where the most lift is going to be and it's going to not going to be uh, out of balance so to find out where the most uh, the center of mass is at you're going to click on this uh, show com which stands for center of mass col center of lift cot center of torque center of mass is going to be the red colored sphere so we can see that the center of mass is here so we're going to place the wing here because we don't want it's gonna be better if you place it there. I don't know the science behind it, but I just know that you have to place it here. You have to place it there. So just mirror the wing, and there we have the wing. And uh, the second last thing is what you guys think it's fine. It's this aircraft is there, but it's not because it needs two more things: landing gear and propulsion. Propulsion. You can just add, go to propulsion, and add a propeller. Propeller engine is the easiest thing. It doesn't eat up fuel, nothing. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't add fuel, well, because simple planes allows you now allows you to store fuel in your rings, and a propeller engine doesn't eat up all. It doesn't eat up fuel at all. I mean, unless you have the uh, the bigger ones with more horsepower, of course it'll eat up fuel. But this is the smallest uh, horsepower engines in the game, so you don't need to worry about. Um, adding fuel tanks if you're uh, trying to fly with a uh, single prop plane the next thing which we'll be adding is a is the landing gear and when you have a plane like this which have which has just one block obviously you can add two sets of landing gear so the best thing the best course of action here is to add wing landing gear so it will be much easier just add it there and add it there and make sure that you add the wing landing gear about as close as I don't know, as close as to the propeller as possible, because God forbid the airplane stops and then um, uh, the airplane rolls over and the propeller breaks. So what I mean by that is you need to put it as close as to the propeller as you can. So just try to put it here. Just put it anywhere actually. It doesn't matter. After you put those landing gear, you're gonna put a retractable landing gear at the back. So the airplane will be kind of, uh, whenever it's uh, stationary, it will be, um, the nose will be lifted up, which will make it much easier to take off. And uh, yeah, guys, this is a simple plane, which you guys can build. 
and uh, follow my uh, you guys can just go follow whatever I said and yeah shit here's the aircraft uh, let's let's try and fly it if it flies uh, yeah it's gonna be a normal simple airplane and the lag I'll explain the lag is because I am running my uh, Intel processor not my Nvidia processor sorry about that guys and there you go it flies hooray it doesn't fly that much it doesn't fly that fast maybe because it has a single propeller anyway guys if you found this video helpful like if you guys <laughs> thought that my uh, way of explanation was pretty bad you can just tell me what I did wrong and uh, if you guys have any questions or how to make a plane like this or how to make your first plane just comment it and I'll try my best to reply to your comments thank you guys for watching and if you guys make your first plane ever upload it to simple planes uh, comment the link so I can check it out and maybe do a review thank you guys for watching peace